There are two big diseases in the mouth. One that we know mostly, we know very well, it's uh, dental decay. This, in general, uh, we are satisfied with uh, the treatment we do. We can prevent, we can stop the disease, we can stop dental decay as, as much as patients want to do what the right thing. So dental decay is fairly good to cure. The other big disease that we find in the mouth uh, with the adult are the disease are periodontal disease, gingivitis and periodontal disease. Mostly periodontal disease because uh, we have big problem losing teeth and have so we've been formed as a doctor to take care of this disease, but. What I see is uh, oh, most of that time uh, dental decay, we can cure it, but periodontal disease, we don't know how to cure, there's no data, uh, it ends with um, root planning and uh, scaling. So I want to make important point here, a point that comes from microscopist guy, Dr. Trevor Lyon, Paul Kais, Bob Barclay. Those are important microscopist doctor that know a lot about periodontal disease. And those doctors uh, worked with the microscope, face contrast microscope. So I'd like to explain a little bit uh, thinking of periodontal disease with the microscope. So if uh, we want to do more, we will talk about protozo and we'll talk about candida, fungi. Uh, so the disease may be different with the microscope. So we take direct, direct examination of plaque of biofilm, of the microbiota. We take a little bit within patient mouth. It is very easy to do. It takes three minutes. And as dentists, we have so much luck to can, we, so we can get plaque from the circus and then find a diagnostic and di uh, propose um, treatment that agree that goes with the biofilm we find. So with this idea of a doctor of the mouth, um, I already explained in the seminar, uh, in general periodontal disease with the microscope, it is easy to find parasite, to find in most of the time, we find antamoeba gingivalis, the amoeba. Uh, uh, Sometimes we can find also 25% or 30%, we find trichomonas too. And also we can see orange and red complex of Sokransky. But the most common thing we see within the plaque is the parasite Antamoeba gingivalis. So if we just uh, want to target on this parasite and we look at health, which is very different uh, microbiota, so it is very easy to see the difference. So we have to change our definition of health and dental disease, periodontal disease. So now if we see it as it was one century ago, at the time we had this microscope, if we look at the microbiota, what this will change in our mind, this will change something. something. Now we can, in this mind of the microscope, if I see periodontal disease, I see amoeba most of the time, I see antamoeba, gingivalis, and active periodontitis. So from there, just like the medical doctor, we could have said, wow, we, here we have parasite within the biofilm. So as a doctor, we can tell as the doctor, I see parasites. So patient, periodontal patients suffer from oral amoebiasis, parasitosis from the gum, oral amoebiasis. So if we take this concept of medical doctor, we have the same right to say so. So we will be 
we, we, we could redo history of periodontal disease and imagine putting those two little words we could talk about instead of priori of uh, periodontal disease of periodontitis we could say so imagine now from two those two little words Instead of, walk, of talking about periodontitis, little periodontitis, nice little periodontal disease, little infection, little inflammation of the periodontium. Now, we, people are not afraid, it's not very significant feeling. So, as the doctor now, we say, you have oral amebiasis, just like doctor would talk about amebial dysentery, amebial intestinal amebiasis. Now you have oral amebiasis. So at that time, one century ago, we forgot, we forgot people, doctors like Kais and Lyons. Imagine we call this disease oral amebiasis. You have pus into your gum, just like doctors. You have pus in your gum, you have parasite within your gum, and from those parasites you have bone loss, and you lose your teeth, and you have bad mouth odor. So, is it important to see is there any amoeba within your mouth? Are you infected? Can we stop this oral amoebiosis? Can we stop those parasites removing the bacteria in the same time as the amoeba? So today we can change those two little words instead of chronic periodontitis. If we say you have oral amoebiosis, so if you have those two words, we could change what happened for a century. We could cure oral amoebiasis, just like the doctor. Oral amoebiasis is infection of the oral cavity. It is infection with entamoeba, gingivalis, most of the time, sometimes trichomonas, and this amoeba within the mouth, you can't see it in the lung, you can't see it in the tonsil. And it is really similar to antamoeba histolytica, which kills people. So, you know, you will be killed with the amoeba histolytica. So, 